I'm Hillary Johnson, and welcome to Flashback, where we take a look at local stories from years gone by. Today, we travel back to July 30th, 1991, where a new sport debuted in the Northwest that involves both the air and water. An opportunity to go up in a helicopter and view the Exchamsix River Valley doesn't come along very often. At least, it didn't used to. But that was before North Coast heli rafting spread its wings. Halfway between Terrace and Prince Rupert is the departure point. A helicopter picks you up and takes you on a scenic 10 to 12 minute ride to the top of the river. Waiting there is a raft and life jackets for four people. How long you take to make it back down to the bottom is up to you. Yeah, you can, you can go up in the morning and you can stay up all day. You can have a picnic. And we're asking people to be, be down by between 8 and 9 at night. We're asking to be back, but uh, you can go out at 8 o'clock in the morning and spend the whole day up here. The Exchamsix River Valley is one of the only completely untouched river valleys left in the province. It's as lush and green as the most beautiful of golf courses. And there's as much to see on a quiet float down it as in a provincial park. This valley is abundant with wildlife. And coming down by rafts, you're not making a lot of noise. The so chances of seeing wildlife are really, really good. What, is the, what are you most likely to see? Uh, bears, the odd moose, wolves, beaver, marten, eagles. Although the transportation supplied is Achilles rafts, commonly used for whitewater rafting, the Exchamsix is anything but a fast-paced river. Other than having to steer yourself through some twists and turns every now and again, it takes absolutely no skill. Anybody can get into one of our rafts and come down the river and uh, subject themselves to no danger. Keeping the surroundings as beautiful as when they found them is important to the owners of the heli rafting company. They feel, environmentally speaking, they have all of the problems taken care of. We feel we have zero impact on the environment. Zero. We're not putting motors in the water. Hopefully people bring their garbage out with them. We'll provide garbage bags for them. Mm -hmm. Garbage bags won't be the only thing in the boat. In case there is some sort of an emergency, a radio will be supplied. Rafters can get in touch with someone stationed at the bottom of the river and, if necessary, have them come for help. Although the fishing in the Exchamsix River is excellent, the heli rafting company isn't promoting it. They don't want to be compared to fish guiding companies. But they do say anyone that wants to bring a rod is more than welcome. If they want to take your fishing rod, yeah. You're totally, uh, totally legal to take your fishing rod up and fish, eh? but we are asking for catch and release. There's no other company in the province like North Coast Heli Rafting. The owners feel there's one important thing which makes them unique. Well, it's the mode of transportation. It's a helicopter ride. I mean, people love getting into a helicopter. And uh, we're, we're giving a helicopter ride that's a, a fair extensive ride. It's 10 to 12 minutes in duration. And you get to see the Skeena Valley and you get to see the, uh, the scenery coming up. And uh, we're combining that with a drift on the river that lasts uh, four to five hours coming down. So we think the two together should uh, be quite appealing to people. What appeals to people is hard to judge. This new company is just getting its feet wet, so to speak, and this summer will be the difference between sink or swim. They do, however, have some words to encourage people who may be interested in giving the river a run. I'd say you'd have probably one of the best days in your life. <laughs> and if you like photography, if you like wildlife, and uh, you like the outdoors, um, I think we cover it all. North Coast Heli Rafting is based out of Prince Rupert. They'll be running the trips until about mid-September. Each run is $99 a person.